previously on Bioshock Infinite. In an act of desperation to pay off gambling debts, I kidnap Elizabeth, a mysterious girl who is being held captive for observation. After a close call with Songbird, Elizabeth runs off, and I spend a little time on the beach chatting it up with the locals. Turns out everyone's either racist, a douche, or secretly racist. I grab Elizabeth and tell her we need to get aboard the First Lady airship because it will fly us to Paris. The schmucks show up again and give Elizabeth a collar. Undeterred by 1912's version of the Transportation Security Administration, Elizabeth lockpicks us around the detail. We get ambushed, someone calls me a milksop, and Elizabeth calls me a murderer. I justify myself, so we head to Soldier's Field, a lame amusement park that conscripts kids into the military. And being racist. Turns out we need a vigor called Shock Jockey to activate the gondola that will take us to the First Lady. So now we're on an elevator on our way to the Hall of Heroes, a museum of sorts that will give us what we need. <gasps> oh, what the hell? Is something wrong? Oh, nothing I can't fix. I, I hate these things. Oh, jeez. Just kill it. No, it'll sting me. Elizabeth. I have a better idea. Wait, wh what are you doing? I'm opening a tear. Oh, shit. What is that? It's a tear. I used to open them all the time in my tower. What is a tear? It's like a... a, a window. A window to another world. Most of the time, their doll is dishwater. A different colored towel or tea instead of coffee. But sometimes, sometimes I see something amazing, and I pull it through. There. Good God. I don't suppose you've got an airship in there? I don't think so. But there is... there... there is something. I... Oh no! Close it. I, I'm trying! Close it! I don't really understand what I just saw back there. But it sure as hell looks like a shortcut to getting us killed. But I could help. I can handle whatever comes along. Trust me. Have it your way, I suppose. Must say, I like the flower in your hair, Elizabeth. Really digging it. Well, hello, my attractive viewers. And welcome to part five of Bioshock Infinite. I don't know about you, but I am ready to kick names and take butt. Sky Road Station entrance, so where the heck are we going? Oh, that's right, we're headed to the Hall of Heroes. I'm looking at a trash can. What's up, Elizabeth? Headed to the Hall of Heroes to steal $14. To the sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy an Eden floating in the mist by man forsworn, by heaven kissed. Uh, no lockpicks. Oh, hello. Oh man, we didn't wipe their feet. Elizabeth looked very upset about that. Man, who's throwing away so much money? I love these people. Lockpick. <gasps> yes. Wrong oh, buttons again. That was sloppy. Man, I can't figure out, I can't remember how to switch weapons in this game. I mess it up every time. Probably another bathroom over here. It's like a dream come true. All right, let's use that lockpick. Can you open this? Looks easy enough. All done. Oh jeez. Oh, of course, here's my shotgun. Boom. Oh, searching the cabinet behind me instead of reloading. That works too. Yes, but no. Enemy. Until now, come 
Stark. He's made a vaudeville travesty of my battles and cast himself as the White Knight. I called him out over it, and he stripped me of my rank. That man has never seen the savage face of war. Sheltered life grants brief and vulnerability when gaining health from snacks and health kits. That sounds incredibly useful. What am I currently holding? Melee targets set ablaze. I am absolutely going to equip this instead. Five lockpicks. Can't. I'll have to come back to that one. Uh, but yeah. So the whole invulnerability thing. A few seconds. Super useful. Yes. New powers. <laughs> Yeah, not watching it. Basically, you just levitate people in the air, and they float there and take more damage, and uh, it makes them really easy to hit, and float them off the world, and all that good stuff. I love it. Now, I know you've all come to think of Slade as some kind of war hero. Well, let me be abundantly clear. Cornelius Slate is no hero! Ah, he's been living down in Finkton so long that the man has gone native! <laughs> if Slate had his way, the damn collards and potato eaters would be up at Comstock House running Columbia! Oh, kind of a exactly. it's it's it, Did I just kill everybody? Oh, not quite. Oh, oh, <laughs> got him through the railing. Ow, ow. Oh, I love the range on this thing. I also picked up a thing a little while ago that was 50% uh, extra damage with critical hits. So this thing is pretty nasty when I get headshots. Get up a little closer for easier shots. No, you're not! You're standing right there doing nothing! I will take it! Yes! Oh, that's a crow. Ah, oh, dang it! I'm wasting all my vigor. My salt. Gotcha. This guy is tough. Are you dead yet? Where in the world did you come from? Second thought. I think those tears of yours might come in handy next time we're in a scrape. Well, there has to be a tear around for me to use. I can't just pull them out of thin air. All right. Well, there's the Hall of Heroes up there, I believe. But uh, I've got plenty of exploring to do here in the ticket buildings and whatnot. So let's take a look around. God makes all kinds of soldiers, but he only made one, Cornelius Slate. My father followed him up San Juan Hill, through the legations in Peking, and as he put it, through hell the order was given. At today's muster, Slate asked me if I was Sergeant Monroe's daughter. I said, yes sir, I am. Slate said, your father always wanted a son. I hope the fool has wisdom enough to recognize his good fortune. Slate fellow is not a friend of Comstock. Everyone's out to get him. That'll do. I guess the enemy of my enemy is my friend, so maybe I'll get along with this Slate fellow if I ever find him. Shazam! 
who is this fraud, this charlatan, this salesman of snake oil? What you want to take from me, sister, was just the beginning. Tip there were contraband guns hidden in the fellow traveler. Didn't find them, but funny thing, we found some old uniforms under the floorboards from the war. <laughs> Took guesses as to why they were there, but <laughs> who's there? You're slate, right? Sir? Put the guns down! Ah! Did you hear that, Comstock? That is the sound you have never heard. The sound of a soldier's end. Your hall of heroes. Prove me a liar. Look, a cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. Well, you're the junior codebreaker. What's it say? Don't know. There should be a code book somewhere. Hmm. Well, I'll have to keep my eye out for it. Because I totally don't know exactly where it is. Oh man, what do you know? The first place I look, it's right here. Found something. It's the code book, all right. I'm so good at this, Elizabeth. All right, get the cipher, lady. Hey, Mr. Dewitt. Looks simple enough. Tip the hat to the Vox. Well, there must be more to this place than meets the eye. Hmm. I wonder what that could mean. I'm a freaking genius. Listen to that in a minute. Daisy Fitzroy. I've read about her. Books say she's out to tear Columbia from the sky. Everybody's got a dream. The one thing people need to learn is that fear is the antidote to fear. I don't want to be a part of their world. I don't want to be a part of their culture, their politics, okay. their people. The sun is setting on their world, and soon enough, all they gonna see is the dark. Gosh darn it. Quads. Seriously? That was embarrassing. I went right between them. I thought it had a wider effective radius than that. Well, looks like I didn't need it anyway. Just thinking about changing my gamer tag to uh XX Bioshock Snipes MLG 420. So uh yeah. Alright, on to the Hall of Heroes. Well, I suppose we could take those skylines above us. We just need to find a way to clear up that cargo first. Easy. This is going to be fantastic. I'm glad you're excited. You think that keen eye of yours could find some ammunition lying around? I sure could use it when there's trouble. It'll take some scrounging, but I'll do my best. <laughs> Slate? I actually know the fella. Seems he's still got a knack for making enemies. Veterans! You shed your heart's blood for Columbia! Lost limb and viscera in the godless Orient! Comstock did nothing! And yet, look up! Whose image squats above you even now? At every angle and insult! If the prophet would make a painted whore of our past, what fresh rape does our future hold? Let us now make...
take our stand and fill yonder hall with true heroes! Oh jeez. Booker, take this rifle. Catch! Oh, wrong button. What a waste. Open for more. Looks like we found where your old friend Slade is. Just find that shot jock and get the hell out of here. Oh, I saw. Almost shot Elizabeth in the face. We wish I had a shotgun. Ah, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. I'm not ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should have kept the shotgun. I'm about to die. That was really, really poorly performed. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. That is so annoying. Where is that freaking singing coming from? That was a terrible throw. Oh, nice. Totally just shot the statue thinking it was a dude. Yes, I'm totally one of those people who reloads after every bullet. Enter the Hall of Heroes. Well, we're here. Who rare is the man who takes a stand for God and sweetest fatherland? But here's the place where we revere the heroes of our city dear. Where'd you get that thing? I think she was picking it up when I walked in. Alright. Get that shock jockey. Well, sucks to be that guy. They'll call us assassins when our work is done. Cornelius Slate, the swift left hook of the Vox Populi. <laughs> we'll be trading Comstock's life for a new one. So be it. The Fitzroy woman and I are comrades of necessity. I doubt all the men who read in Caesar's toga would still be seen breaking bread together in peacetime. With Comstock gone, my men's past deeds will be sacred. And they will claim the spoils to them. I need not live to see it. I hear you. Come here. A good day to die. Totally we're walking into those guys, but Elizabeth was acting all uh stealthy. Kinda tipped me off. Our prophet, Father Comstock, commander of the 7th Cavalry. That man did not leave the 7th. Hell, I don't even remember the guy. Corporal DeWitt proved his worth on the field that day. Well, I'll be. Slate? Is that you? You've always been different, haven't you, Booker? You crave no glory. Look, I see you're caught up in some kind of jam here. If you could see fit to let us through to where they keep the shock jockey, and we'll that tin soldier, Comstock, wants my boys dead. We won't die at his hands. There's going to be trouble. All my men have left is a choice. Die at the hands of a tin soldier, or a real one! Just give us the shock jockey. If you want the vigor, Booker, you will give my men a soldier's death. They wait for you with wounded knee and Mickey. Just what the doctor ordered. 
I'll try to keep you stocked with both bandages and ammo, but the right materials aren't always at hand. 1874, Comstock the Prophet is born. In 1890, we have the Battle of Wounded Knee, where Comstock leads the charge and wins the day for the United States. His actions earn him the title Hero of Wounded Knee. Three years later, the city of Columbia is launched. Columbia is sent around the world on a goodwill tour. That same year, the Lamb is born unto the Prophet. Two years later, 1895, Lady Comstock is cruelly murdered. A foul band of anarchists are found to be guilty of murdering Our Lady, and a new battle begins on the home front. Finally, just after the turn of the century, in 1901, we have the Boxer Rebellion incident. Columbia secedes from the United States. Comstock retaliates against the murder of Americans in the Boxer Rebellion. Columbia raises Peking to the ground and declares secession from the U.S. Okay, so we've got two exhibits. Got the Battle of Wounded Knee and the Boxer Rebellion. I gotta go down both of them.